To get started using patient forms, you first have to enable them for your location. To do so, you just want to head up to settings and then on the left hand side, you want to head into patient forms. Within here, there is an activation button. To switch your forms on at your location, you just need to turn that on and that's going to activate the forms for you. Additionally, you then have to activate the forms that you wish to use. We have three forms, the oral health form, the demographics form and the medical history form. To enable each one, you will see that in the top right hand corner, there's also a switch to activate it or inactivate it. All you need to do is switch that on and then go ahead and hit save to activate that form. If you wish to use all three forms, you can, of course, activate all three of them. If you choose to only use one or two of them at your practice, you can just activate the ones that you wish to use rather than activating all of them. You will notice that for each form, there is also a form expiration. This is default to 12 months. You can change this if you would like to for each form as well. The form expiration is important in order to keep your patient's medical history and demographics information up to date. When a patient is due for their form to be completed, it's going to display as due now in their patient information. Once a form has been completed, depending on the expiration date that you set, in my case it's 12 months, it's going to set the new due date to automatically be in 12 months time. When the patient comes in for their appointment after their 12 month period, the link to complete that form is automatically going to be in their confirmation SMS. When a patient is due to complete their forms, there are multiple ways that they can do this. First of which is you can choose the request forms option from their patient information. Within here, you have the option to either text them a link to their patient forms, you can email them the link to complete their patient forms, or you can even copy the link and send that to them via a third party software such as Outlook if that's preferred. Alternatively, there is also a QR code here. So if you have any tablets or iPads in your practice that you would like patients to complete their forms on, what you can do is just download a QR scanner app, scan this on the iPad and then hand that to the patient and get them to complete their forms that way. Additionally, the patient can also receive a link to complete their forms once they've confirmed their appointment. It's worth noting that their forms link does not get sent to them in their regular appointment reminder, but rather once they've confirmed that appointment. So that can either be if they have replied one to an appointment reminder to confirm that they are coming, or if you've marked their appointment as confirmed manually in the appointment book because you gave them a call. In order for this to happen, however, you do need to have the appointment confirmed reminder switched on. And within that reminder, there is the switch to add the forms link. By default, once you enable this reminder, it's going to automatically have the forms link switched on. You can opt to, of course, turn this off if you would like to.